Bove the fifth column recently discussed what to do between leftists and uh, and liberals. What to do about the GOP's incoming onslaught for Social Security. Uh, if you are unaware, if you've been li- living in blessed ignorance of this fact, uh, it seems to be the plan of the, uh, the new Republicans here to go after Social Security. They've been trying their damnedest to chip away at it for years. Now they're getting serious. Let's listen to Bo. I'm going to jump in. Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about what to do when the Republicans inevitably come for Social Security. They're going to want to do something. Cut it. uh, Raise the age. They're, They're going to want to make changes because it's a years long process for them to just chip away at it. Real quick, I do want to just point out to give you a sense of what he's talking about. When questioned about this, one Republican representative said, well, people are telling me they want to work and if they want to work, why not give them an incentive? Give them an incentive as in motivation when they're already saying they want something. Does that sound like nonsense? It's because it is. They are not interested in their constituents' well-being. They are interested in bleeding the government for money. And when they bleed the government for money, they're bleeding you for money. It's the Republican way. When that occurs, liberals and the left have to be unified. The problem is because of phrasing and motivations people are going to want to argue. Um, leftists will be upset with liberals. And if, you're, if you haven't seen it, we have videos on the difference between liberals and leftists. Um, leftists are going to be upset with liberals, not for what they want to do, but why they want to do it. We've talked about... Uh, the left's habit of saying, no, you're wrong. This is the right take. It's true. We got to work on how we come off, generally speaking. This is one of those moments where improv rules apply. You don't say no, but you say yes and. The instinctive reaction for a, a liberal is going to be, This is not welfare. We paid for this. This is our money. We're entitled to it. Give it back. I mean, it is true, though. (laughs) This is where the leftist is going to come out of the woodwork and be like, don't say that. And they're they're going to talk about how everybody deserves a decent life. And they're going to go all ideological and get utopian on you. And and you're going to lose it, right? Why are they doing that? Because the leftist doesn't want you to become conditioned to see a a difference between welfare and something that was earned. Because it's a very short step from that to, well, we need, it's okay to get rid of welfare programs, stuff that wasn't earned. When the reality is everybody deserves mm. a decent life. Everybody deserves the ability to get by, whether they worked for 65 years or not. True. I mean, he's saying this is what the leftists will say. I'm a leftist, man. True. But he's getting to the point. What is it about the messaging we have to worry about? What is it, more importantly, that we have to not get lost in the weeds about? Here it comes. They, they, everybody's entitled to that. And it's worth remembering that not everybody on Social Security worked their entire life and then started collecting it. Social Security is used for other stuff. So the, the 
that's what the leftist is trying to get across. They, they don't want you to become indoctrinated by a Republican talking point that starts to differentiate between the types of social safety nets. And they want you on board with the Fair. idea that everybody deserves a decent life. But? For a leftist, say it like that, please. <laughs> don't, there you go. Don't, don't start with an attack. Say yes, and everybody, regardless of situation, is entitled to a decent life. Boom. Now, when you run into those people who talk about the Constitution, please remember it is a goal of the Constitution to promote the general welfare. And this definitely falls into this. It, it seems an almost certainty yeah. that the Republican Party is going to come for Social Security. This is a moment where liberals and leftists, you have to work together. Completely accurate. Uh, just like with, with all videos that we share here, the link is in the description. What's the major takeaway? If you're on, if you're a leftist, to the point where when you hear liberal, you don't think uh, a left winger, you think centrist. If that's you, I would, I would agree with what Bo just said. Yes, and the talking points you're going to hear from liberals that you feel doesn't go far enough. If you're a liberal, and you, you, you're trying to make nice with the, uh, the leftists, the people that call themselves uh, progressives, uh, or even democratic socialists. You're trying to make nice with them, and they keep coming at you with, uh, with, the, with the farthest left stuff you've ever heard, and you're like, yeah, well, we're talking about this right now. Just focus on what you agree on, because the important thing is that we have to be unified. This we agree on. Social security should not be messed with. It should be expanded, if anything, not shrunken in any way, not made something that needs to be voted on to be renewed constantly, not have the age where Americans are uh, able to access it raised. Nothing that shrinks it, which is the goal of Republicans. It's one of the few things people like about government, which makes it a target for the GOP, whose strategy is to say government doesn't work, so let's defund it. When they say defund it, they mean give tax breaks to the rich. It's just like when they say they want to uh, do their own stimulus package. Their version of stimulus is giving tax breaks to the rich. Everything they're doing is only to give money to rich people. That's all they do. So they're going to come for Social Security when that happens, which, by the way, is now. They're coming for it now. Be prepared to be allies with each other. Centrists, leftists, anything on the spectrum in between. Right-wingers who are wanting to hold on to their Social Security. Be friends in this. If you want, if you do disagree with somebody on small parts, as Bo says, I agree. Yes, and it. We should protect Social Security because this is welfare we all need. Yes, and I don't even consider this welfare. But yes, we should protect Social Security. Easy as that. Hands off my money. I paid into it, and it's mine, says Real Blip. Excuse me, Real Bill P. Yeah. Wholeheartedly agree. It is yours. You earned it. In fact, as, a, as an American who has been around long enough to get Social Security, I feel you earned that and more. But yes, you are 100% entitled to Social Security. Do not let the GOP take it. They're going to try. You want to know what you can do? I'll tell you right now. There's a link in the description to contact your representative. Everyone is responsible 
for their representative. You're not responsible for the whole country. You're responsible for the person in your district. They're supposed to be your voice in Washington. It would behoove us all now to get momentum going. Because one great thing about having Republicans as the bad guy is they get scurred very easily. They don't like a big fight. So if our chests puff out now, they're more likely to shrink away and just say it's not worth it because we're going to lose. How do we puff our chests out? We get our representatives talking. We get them making public statements. There's a chance your representative's purple. And maybe they've been swayed or they're being swayed right now to not speak out against this issue. To not come down firmly on one side or the other. Maybe they think they can get away with simply not voting that day or this or that or whatever. Nip that in the bud. Make sure they understand this is an issue you care about. Push them through a, through a simple email or a phone call. The contact link is in there. You can find who your representative is, you Google them, you get to their contact page, you email them or call them. Contact them and make sure they know you want them speaking out on behalf of Social Security. You want it not touched. Get them out good and early. 2023, that means they're preparing what they're going to campaign on in 2024. Tell them. You tell them what their constituents care about. A district ain't that big. Your voice will mean a lot to them. Yeah, they're in Washington, but the only people that vote for them live near you. Take advantage of that. Well, I got fired up anyway. (laughs) Uh, Expecting some news later today. Uh... I'm 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 in wait and see mode right now. Uh but I'll tell you I did enjoy uh talking to you on this Friday morning. Uh this has been WYCD Wicked. That stands for what you can do. I'm your old pal Jake and I'll see you next time.